Uh, good day, everyone. Let's continue our discussion. Still in chapter 2. Okay, we're done with uh, three topics. Uh, first topic was the application of... Uh, first topic under chapter 2, you know? Uh, the application of the parallelogram law or the parallelogram method in solving for the resultant of a system of forces. And we also have used, the second topic is that we have used the, the same law, the parallelogram law, in solving for the components of a, a certain force relative to a certain axis. And then our last topic was the uh, rectangular components of a force. Uh, a special case of a, the, the application of parallelogram law. No? So, although parallelogram law pa rin naman yung apply natin, but the parallelogram is a rectangle, no? which means that the axes are perpendicular and uh, uh, the, rec the parallelogram that would be formed is actually a rectangle and uh, of course uh, that would uh, we will be dealing with we have dealt with uh, right triangles no so our next topic is uh, rectangular components of a force in three dimensions we're going to discuss uh sa session thing yan, rectangular components of a force in three dimensions so so previously we have uh, analyzed forces in in two dimensions now we are going to deal with uh, forces which are in three dimensions okay so just uh, uh, still an application of the parallelogram uh, but we're going to uh, use a uh, rectangle no rect the parallelogram natin is uh, rectangle okay so for example it is uh, we're going to use this example yung nasa module natin so yung we have a force here meron tayong force f dito and uh, since may force yan it's a vector quantity it should be meron siyang ano meron siyang direction so the direction can be defined uh, uh, using the different axes that we have here so it can be the direction can be measured from the y axis from the z axis and from the x axis no so in direction that then the yung uh, we call this the uh, the directional angles okay uh, directional angles or direction cosines so ito yung ito yung uh, itong angles na to, it defines the direction of the force okay so since we're dealing with vector quantities it's important that um meron tayong we we, we define the direction of the force okay so yeah Okay, so if we have this force, no, meron tayong force na ito, and uh, we are to solve for the components of the force relative to the three axes. We have the x, y, z axis. Oh, by the way, yung ating uh, axis, ha? <clears throat> para uniform, consistent tayo sa, sa notations natin, um, x axis ito. Okay, this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, and this is our z-axis. If, if, if you have other references, kasi it, it might be different, no? Pero, uh, majority of the books naman in mechanics uses this, uses this, ano? Uh, use this uh, notation. So, this would be our x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Uh, so, if we are to solve for the... Uh, component of a force, no. So very simple yung example mo natin. We will be dealing with uh, uh, more complex problems uh, later. So yung force natin ay nasa origin pa. Ay yung yung tail ng force natin ay nasa origin, okay? Nasa origin pa. So if we are to solve for the component of this force, 
relative to the x-axis and we know the angle, the direction of that force relative to the x-axis. Then fx is equal to f cosine of the angle theta x. Okay, Theta x is the, the direction of the force relative to the x-axis. No? So if, we, if you remember then sa ating uh, in two dimensions, this is y-axis, x-axis, and this would be our force F. You know, if we are to solve, if, if given yung angle natin na to, angle theta, if we are to solve for the, let's say for example, we are to solve for the uh, x component and then the y component of the force, let's say Fy. So, parallelogram method, ayan, drawing lang tayo ng uh, parallel lines. Ayan, ito parallel natin. So, rectangle, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So, if this is Fy, this is also Fy is Fx. So, you can consider any of the two triangles here. Okay, so to solve for Fx, okay, so adjacent side yan, given yung theta dito, adjacent side. So, Fx is simply equal to given yung F natin, ito, itong diagonal ng ating, or hypotenuse ng ating triangle. Okay? So, it's F, which means uh, adjacent ito. That means Fx, the, the component of this force along the x-axis is F, is, is F cosine of the angle theta. This is, uh, the same principle applies dito sa ating, sa, sa three dimensions. You know? So, for Fx, if we, if we know this angle, Okay, itong angle theta natin na yan, fx is simply equal to f cosine of the angle theta x. And the same is also true sa so fy and fz. If we are to solve for the y component of this force relative to the y axis, and we know this angle, okay, uh, so the component is fy is equal to f cosine of the uh, angle theta y and f of z, the component of the force along the z axis is equal to f cosine of theta z. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> right. So, if we are to solve for the, the resultant of, for example, hindi given yung f natin ito. Hindi given yung values. We're doing the opposite. Okay, opposite of uh, solving for the ano yung opposite ng solving ng components we are solving for the resultant so I have mentioned last time uh, sa so chapter na ito we are doing uh, two, dalawang bagay lang ginagawa natin either we solve for the resultant of system of forces and uh, or uh, we solve for the components of a force relative to a certain axis okay so but kapag given yung fx, fy, fz, the components of the force, and we are to solve for the resultant, we are going to apply the, ito, the same pa rin dun sa two dimensions natin. For example, given yung fx natin, at saka yung fy, and we are to solve for the resultant. Okay, resultant. How do you solve for the resultant? So, parallelogram method ulit. Okay. Uh, given yung... Let's say this is angle theta. Given yung fx, given yung fy. Okay. Uh, so for the resultant. So if this is fy, this is also fy. If this is fx, this is also this side is also fx. So the resultant is how do you solve for the resultant? You, since this is a right triangle, ito right triangle yan, we can simply use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the resultant of the force. Now, the same is also true of so the three dimensions. So, solve for the resultant. So, yung resultant natin dito is the square root of um, fx squared plus fy uh, squared. Okay? Ganon din sa three dimensions. So, f is equal to the square root of f of x squared plus f of y squared plus f of z squared. So, simple. So, if you want to solve for, and then, so, pag, naku, pag gusto mong kunin yung directional angles natin, so, for example, given yung ating uh, components, na solve na natin yung resultant, and kailangan natin isolve yung uh, direction ng resultant, 
we just look into this equations okay so kapag uh, solve natin yung theta x is simply equal to so that is it's r cosine of so theta x natin r cosine of i cross multiply lang natin so f of x over f so yan yung ito ito pala karam pala dito <laughs> so theta x is equal to the r cosine of f uh, f of x over f. So, mag-cross-multiply lang tayo dito. Ito mga equations natin. Same, same sa theta y. So, cross-multiply natin. Hindi pa natin dito. f y over uh, f. So, take the r cosine of the quantity. Alright. So, ganun din sa theta z. So, this is how you solve for the uh, directional angles or the directional direction cosines of the resultant uh, force so ganun, ganun lang kasimple what uh, what makes it more complicated of course is when the the location of the force is yung 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 tail ng force natin is no longer the origin it's somewhere in the space then uh, that will make the analysis more uh, complicated. That's why we're going to discuss our next topic. Discuss natin is next concept is the use of Cartesian vectors or the use of uh, vector algebra in analysis of of forces in three dimensions. So this would this would uh, uh, make the calculations. No, once we understand the use of vector algebra, okay, this would really really make the calculations. Uh, much much uh, easier no okay okay so what are Cart uh, cartesian uh, vectors so uh, the analysis of some problems in three dimensions is simplified using uh, vector algebra Ito. vector algebra and uh, we have uh, partially discussed this before in our first topic when we added uh, uh, vectors, forces using, uh, using the parallelogram method no? in which the forces are represented in Cartesian vector form. So we're going, uh, later on, if we are going to deal with um, forces in three dimensions, forces, a lot of forces, maraming forces in three dimensions, it is best to convert, uh, we are to, and then we, uh, pag marami tayong form, wait, wait, wait lang, <laughs> pag marami tayong forces na, na ina-analyze, and we are to solve for the result, uh, it is best to convert muna yung mga forces natin into uh, equivalent Cartesian vector form. No? And then, we're going to follow the rules of vector algebra in adding uh, vectors, okay? So, to solve for the result, uh, Okay, uh, yung mga assumptions natin. Uh, a right-handed coordinate system is used in the theory of uh, vector algebra. And then right-handed right coordinate system. I don't know if you can see my hands. Ito yan. That's why I'm showing my right hand. Right hands to <laughs> Right hand. So, yung right-handed uh, coordinate system is that ito, this represents the vertical axis itong thumb ko is the 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 z uh, axis this is the x axis itong mga fingers na ito directed towards its direction and itong arm ko dito that is the y axis so that's that's the right handed coordinate system okay a rectangular or Cartesian coordinate system is said to be right-handed if the thumb of the right hand points in the direction of the positive z-axis. Positive if upwards. No. When the right-handed fingers are curled about the x-axis directed from the positive x to the positive y-axis. Uh, okay, so next point to kanina using my right hand. And then, uh, next concept na. So, that's, that's Cartesian vectors. No. Okay. Now, tap, tap, no. <laughs> para ma-represent natin yung force in terms of Cartesian vectors, we need to understand some 
uh, other concepts like itong unit vectors, uh, Cartesian unit vectors, and the position uh, vector. So, let's discuss muna yung mga concepts. Medyo marami. Ano, and we're going to apply. Don't worry, we're going to apply these concepts later on in the succeeding uh, problems na solve natin. So, unit vectors, a unit vector, uh, small letter na U na bold, yan yung notation natin. Okay. A vector with a magnitude of 1 dimensionless. So, take note, it's a dimensionless, no, 1 dimensionless unit and acts in the same direction as the vector A. It's, it is defined by dividing the vector A by its magnitude A. Ito, that's why it's a unitless quantity because the uh, same unit yan, so um cancel yung units so it's a unitless quantity so that's the uh that's a unit vector okay and then cartesian unit vectors the directions of the positive xyz axis are defined by the cartesian unit vectors i j k respectively so the directions of the positive x y and z axis are defined by the Cartesian unit vectors I, J, K. So the I, J, K here defines the direction of the vector you know, along the X, Y, Z axis. So if the direction of a certain vector or a certain force, okay, it's not necessarily force naman kapag vector, you know? Pero since our subject is mechanics, then usually that is a force. No? So if the direction of the force is, uh, sabi dun, is I, so it's directed along the X axis. And then if it's the direction is J, directed along the Y axis. And then if the direction is K, then it's directed along the Z axis. So... Yan, ang Cartesian unit vectors. Okay, next is the Cartesian vector representation. So, Cartesian vector representation. representation. <laughs> Using the properties of vector addition, <clears throat> a vector A can be written as the sum of its three components. No, I remember, uh, recall lang natin dun sa parallelogram method in adding vectors. That's our first topic. So, when we <clears throat> add vectors, that means we're going to solve for the resultant. No? <clears throat> so for example, we have uh, uh, two forces, let's say vector A and vector B. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I think. Ayan. So, we have uh, A and B here. So, when we say Pag nag-add tayo, when we are solving for the resultant of a certain uh, certain system of forces, let's say, for example, we have to solve for the resultant of vector A and AB, the resultant is equal to A plus uh, B. That's how we solve for the, the resultant. And we, what, we, what we mean by this is that you don't add this, literally add this, no? So, A plus B, don't add the quantities or the values of A and B. But, you're going to solve for the resultant of the two forces using <clears throat> any applicable method in, in the previous uh, topic. Uh, gumamit tayo ng uh, parallelogram method no? to solve for the resultant. In the same way, the same way sa three dimensions, no? Uh, Cartesian vector representation using uh, we we can represent uh, the force in terms of its Cartesian vector form Cartesian vector form okay uh, example natin let's have a an example in two dimensions para mas maintindihan natin so for example I have a ito na lang to space somewhere here
I have a, ang given is the components of a force. Let's say, ang components natin. Okay, let's say this is AX, vector AX, and this is uh, vector AY. And you are to solve, and uh, both uh, forces are directed, uh, uh, AX is directed along X-axis, and AY is directed along the Y-axis. So, the two dimensions lang ang uh, para ma ma natin. Okay? So, if I am to add the two forces here, pag in ko yan, that means, we're, uh, that means I'm going to solve for the resultant of the two forces, AX and AY, Ang going to apply, so a require natin is A, ito ko lang ilagay, <laughs> is equal to AX plus AY. That means I'm going to apply the parallelogram method okay, to solve for the resultant force R here. Okay? Ayan. So, and since AX is directed along X and AY is directed along uh, y axis then uh, it's a rectangular uh, para uh, rectangle yung parallelog parallelogram natin is a rectangle okay so and we can and we i have said we have discussed before that when we solve for the result then that is also similar to saying we that we are adding the two forces here r is simply equal to or the resultant a here the letter a is equal to AX plus AY. No, but since, ang sabi natin kanina, the, the directions are defined by IJK. So, this is actually I, AXI, plus AYJ. So, AX natin is the magnitude of the force. AY is the magnitude of the force along Y axis. AX is the magnitude of the force along X axis. I would be the direction, and I and J would be the directions of the, the forces. Okay, ganun din sa three dimensions. I hope na maling na yung pagkaka-explain ko. No? Uh, ganun din sa three dimensions, ano, meron lang tayong vertical axis na K or Z. Okay. So that's how we mean, that's what we mean when we try to represent a force in terms of its car of Cartesian vector. Okay, that means itong A na ito okay, is also equal to AX, the AX plus AY. Okay, so A here, the resultant of or the vector sum of AX and AY is also equal to A. A, no, parehas lang sila. A is equal to the vector sum of AX and AY. Okay, and we can uh, write in equation form, ito yung ating equation. Okay, AXI plus AYI. Now, we can add another axis here, which is the Z axis. Ang direction naman niya ay uh, K. So, ganun ang kwan natin. So, we can represent a force, in this case we have A, in terms of Cartesian vector form. Okay. So, imagine a lot of forces no, in three dimensions. And you are to solve for the uh, resultant. Okay, so it is important. Mas madali na i-convert muna natin yung mga forces into their equivalent Cartesian vector form so that we can simply, mas madali nang mag-add ng uh, forces. So we can simply add the forces using the vector uh, algebra. No? Uh, the principles of vector algebra. Okay? So, another way to represent the our Carti the force in terms of Cartesian vector form, uh, ito, la, ito kanina na uh, discuss natin to, no? So, pag given naman yung uh, angle natin, okay, F cosine, at the, you simply solve for the, the X, Y, Z components of the forces, no? And do not forget also to write the direction, yung directions natin. I, J, K, yung directions natin. I, if directed along X, J, directed along Y, and K, directed along Z axis. Alright? So, that's it. Let's 
So, ganun natin i- uh, so often times later on we're going to represent uh, kapag given yung ating mga forces and we are to resolve the forces into a single force. Often times we're going to solve muna yung uh, Cartesian vector form ng bawat force. Okay, so, it's important that we know how to convert a certain force into its Cartesian vector form. Okay, next is the position vector. Position vector. Now, uh, yung mga forces natin, usually we can define the direction no, of these forces in terms of a line. Especially if the force, yung tail ng force natin is not, hindi uh, siya nasa origin, you know? For example, ito, yung vector natin is not, yung tail niya hindi na sa origin. Then we can define the direction of the force in terms of the line where it is located. No. So, yung, uh, we can so yung concept ng position vector is that we are going to define the position, direction of the force Okay, in terms of the line where it is located, yung line of action niya. Okay. So, yan. So, position vector is defined as the fixed vector. Line siya na mayroong direction. <laughs> Which locates a point in space relative to another point. Okay? So, yan yung uh, definition ng position vector which I have explained uh, kanina. So, if R extends from the origin, so may, mayroon tayong dalawang example dito. If R, yung bold na uh, small letter R, extends from the origin of coordinates O to point uh, somewhere in the space. So, X, Y, Z yung ating coordinates. Ito, X, Y, Z. Then, R can be expressed in Cartesian form uh, Cartesian vector form as R. Ito yun na. So, we have discussed yung Cartesian vector form kanina. Xi, Yj, and Zk. So, ito, uh, X here is the component of the force or the vector R along X axis. Y here is the component of the vector R along the Y axis. And Z here is the component of the, four of the vector R along the Z axis. So if we, if we know these components, then we can simply write the Cartesian vector form of this vector. Vector, uh, vector ito. Ayan. In this format. Ayan. What is more challenging, of course, is when the tail of the force is no longer at the origin. So we have to uh, solve ito. Uy, ito yung ating format na kapag uh, hindi na sa origin yung tail ng ating uh, force. So to define now the position of the force or the vector. Okay, kapag hindi na sa origin yung ating ano, yung uh, tail ng force natin. So, we simply subtract the coordinates. Ito. Subtract lang natin. Parang sa geometry lang. Okay? So, meron tayong head tail. Head, ah, head. <laughs> head tail ng force. Mali pa yung pagkakapoint ko. So, let's say this is uh, uh, vector R natin, yung position vector natin ng R. It is where the force is located. No? So, parang line lang siya na ganyan. And of course, we should be able to know the coordinates of ito, yung B natin, yung point B. And then we also have point A. Yung point A natin, yun, nandun yung tail, point B yung ating... Uh, head ng force ayan. or ng vector okay so this is B so meron tayong coordinates X Y Z coordinates 
And meron din tayong of course uh, coordinates sa may tail natin, x, y, z coordinates. So, ito yung ating uh, formula formula ba to? <laughs> to define the position vector R natin. So, we simply subtract yung ating ano, ito. Isusubtract lang natin. So, head minus tail. So, always head minus tail. So, x sub b minus x sub a. y sub b minus y sub a. And z sub b minus z sub a. Okay? So, yan. That's, that's position vector. <laughs> How about discussion natin dito? And then, so i-apply na natin yung discuss kanina na unit vector. So, after defining the position of the force, so we should uh, define first yung position ng force natin. Now, we can now uh, solve uh, the force uh, vector along a line. So, force vector along a line, which... Ang kailangan natin is the uh, concept of unit vector and position uh, vector. So that we can represent the force in its Cartesian vector form. Okay. Ayan. So yung force natin is simply equal to, if we want to represent, you know, if we want to represent the force in terms of its Cartesian vector form, that is simply the product of F, F would be the force, uh, by the way, yung, ito yung kwan natin, ah. Uh, bold letter F. That is the force in, in, in Cartesian vector form. F here is the magnitude of the force. And U here is the unit vector which we have discussed kanina. Yung concept ng unit vector. So, yung unit vector natin is simply equal to yung position vector natin divided by yung uh, tawag dito yung R, R na <laughs> hindi bold yung regular small letter R natin that is actually the distance no yung distance natin distance ng line natin okay so distance ng line so we're going to use, use the distance formula to solve for the distance between point A and B. So, ano yung distance formula natin? Okay, distance uh, formula. <laughs> sa two dimensions, distance formula is, uh, sa two dimensions natin, uh, let's say, distance between two points, points A and B. So, mayroon tayong x, y, coordinates x, y coordinates natin dyan to solve for the distance between two points we simply apply the Pythagorean theorem ano? it's equivalent to so x b minus square root of the quantity x b minus x a squared plus y b minus y a squared so ah di na kita sa video Yan yung distance formula. Ganun din sa three dimensions. To solve for the distance between two points in three dimensions. Ah, dito pala eh. Ayan. So, distance between two points. So, to solve now, to convert now the the force into its Cartesian vector form, we simply multiply F and U. Okay. Parang, parang that's, a, that's a bad word, isn't it? F and U. Or it's F uh, U here is the, the unit vector. So, R, bold letter R over yung R natin na distance. Okay? Ito yung ating uh, uh, force vector along a line. So, that, that will be the force in its Cartesian vector form. Yung makukuha natin na result dito is the force in its Cartesian vector uh, representation or form. Alright? So, Yun na, yun na ang ating mga yung concepts na kailangang 
intindihin. Hindi ko alam kung naintindihan natin. I hope that we have understood the concepts. Ang importante, alam natin mag-solve na para ma-solve natin, ma-represent natin, na-convert natin yung force into its equivalent Cartesian vector form. We need, we need to understand the concept of position vector, unit vector. Yun lang naman ang kailangan natin intindihan. Okay, so ito yung kailangan natin i-memorize na lang na uh, formula. Ito yung nakabox. Alright. Ayan. Okay, so those are the concepts. Next would be yung uh, mag-solve na tayo ng problems para may apply natin yung mga concepts na pag-aralan natin. Alright, and that would be uh, sa next uh, video na lang. So see you sa next uh, video.